Pride and Prejudice. Do you mind? I bet you read that book every year. I bet you just love that Mr. Darcy, and your sentimental heart just beats wildly at the thought that he and, um, well, you know, whatever her name is, are truly, honestly going to end up together. The heroine of Pride and Prejudice is Elizabeth Bennet. She is one of the greatest and most complex characters ever written, not that you would know. Swifts on a fine morning in May. Flying this way, that way, sailing around at a great height, perfectly happily. Then... I want to talk to you. I'm busy. What are you doing? Reading. Possibly I should concentrate on acquiring you a bookcase first. That's okay. The Baudelaire parents had an enormous library in their mansion, a room filled with thousands of books on nearly every subject, and nothing pleased Klaus more than spending an afternoon filling up his head with their contents. Sometimes Matilda longed for a friend, someone like the kind, courageous people in her books. It occurred to her that like talking dragons and princesses with hair long enough to climb, such people might exist only in storybooks. Turn on the way home! You have the idea they said to me, so you can be the one who puts the mouse in the jar. <laughs> Sorry, I... Collected works of Dickens? works of George Bernard Shaw, poems by Browning, Shelley, Keats, great dramas of the world, books, books, all the books I'll need, all the books, all the books I'll ever want, Shelley, Shakespeare, Shaw, all the books I want, all the books. Do you want a book? Miss Yellow Bee says we borrow them, and I'm sure I could get one for you. No. Don't you like books? I wonder what they say in all those books. Every one of them. untold and hardships unnumbered. I have fought my way here to the castle beyond the Goblin City. I can never remember that line. You have no power over me.